Stage 0 0.911, meeting Millie. I remember the scent of the breeze. It was like this the first time I stood here. In this place once known as Japan, spring was marked by a faintly sweet flurry of cherry petals which washed over everything. Yes, on that day, with the sun gently looking down on the school as it is now, amidst the cherry blossoms that scattered as they fell, there stood a boy. I'm Lelouch. Yes, I heard. Lelouch Lamprouge, right? I'm Millie Ashford. How do you do? Grandfather asked me to show you around the school today. Spare the introductions. I like to use my time effectively. My grandfather, the principal of Ashford Academy, had told me this new student was the child of someone who had done him a great favor a long time ago. This was our first meeting. Still, even as he confronted an older girl, though he was earnestly trying to look mature, I thought, it's okay. I'll teach him gently. <laughs> or something like that anyway. Thinking back, I didn't know anything about him. You don't have to be so nervous. I'm only one year older than you. You're in middle school? Yes, second year. Did you think I was in high school? I'm pretty well developed, huh? Look, see my bust line? And the curves from my hips to my thighs? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to turn away. Ogling me isn't gonna harm anyone. <sighs> Did you ogle? It didn't harm you, right? Yeah, but do you have to be so blasé about seeing it? If you're going to show me around, let's get on with it. I'd like to get back soon. At that time, I thought of myself as a patient woman with an even temper. Okay, well then. <clears throat> Ashford Academy I'll is... I'll get the basic data on my own. School history, number of students, number of teachers in the geographic area it occupies. What I want to know now is the layout of the buildings and the details of the facilities. And you can't check that out yourself? That kind of data is kept private. It can be of use to terrorists. <laughs> what? Don't tell me the principal's granddaughter doesn't know about that. <sighs> well, I wanted to be a patient woman who maintained her composure. All right! First, I'll give you the super special tour! From the rooftop with the best Just view! Just tell me the things I absolutely need to know. I'll learn the rest as I come to school each day. Well, there are plenty of people who get along just fine without cultivating patience with others. You don't have any friends, do you? That's none of your business. Ah, oh, I see. Then you don't. Not Britannians, anyway. Huh? What's that mean? The area's paved in stone, with potholes all over the place. Stairways to all the building entrances. They'll need to put in ramps and handrails. <sighs> fine. As you wish. I'll be brief. This building here is for the elementary and middle schools, and over there is the high school. If you hear people shouting, go team, that's the gym. If you catch the scent of something appetizing, that's the cafeteria. Other than that, the dorms are over there. Ask your dorm leader for more details. Dorms? Yes. All students are required to live in dorms. The boys are in the building on the left, and if you couldn't guess, girls' dorms are on the right. They never told me about that. You don't like the thought of living away from mommy and daddy? Get over it. Ashford Academy encourages the development of free and independent spirits. How do I get into the girls' dorms? Don't be silly. Boys aren't allowed in there, and girls aren't allowed in the boys' dorms, so... Oh, I see. You try to come off so cool, but your head's full of the wild urges and lustful desires of puberty, huh? <laughs> hey, where are you going? That's enough. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop teasing you. I won't attend this school. I was just giving you a tour. I said I'm not going to attend this school. What's the Hey, wait up! It has nothing to do with you. I was a fool to come here without checking all the details first. Hold on! I don't know what kind of high and mighty family produced a spoiled brat like you, but at least give me a reason! I'm sure Ashford told you, so drop the pretense! I'm asking you because I don't know! You're all the same! <gasps> Even you people, you'd use us. Us? <laughs> Lelouch? Nanali! A wheelchair? Oh, thank goodness! I thought I'd gotten lost somehow. Nanali, didn't I tell you I'd be back soon? I'm sorry, but I smelled something wonderful. There are cherry blossoms in bloom here, aren't there? Are you? Oh, you must be from the Academy. I'm Nanali Lamprouge. Pardon me for not getting up, but my legs and eyes don't quite work so. Now I see. When you mentioned the handrails before... It's starting to dawn on you? 
This place can't possibly work out for us. Belouche? Anonely, I'm afraid the school isn't going Hold to... Hold it! <sighs> Honestly, Nanali, it must be terrible for you having a big brother who's such a stubborn mule. Huh? What? I'm saying you should have just told me this from the start. What's the point of hiding it? Our private lives are... are... my business now, and I won't leave you alone. <laughs> leave this to me. I'll take care of everything. I promise. Please, trust me. <sighs> Lelouch? Okay, fine. Don't trust me then, huh? Bet on me instead. I promise, you won't lose anything at all. What are you? And for collateral, uh, let's see. I can't give you money or status or prestige, so... <laughs> you can have your way with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's decided then! Let's go, Nanali. May I push your wheelchair? Um, sure. Our clubhouse is by the garden over there. We'll ask my grandfather. I'm sure he'll let you both stay near there. I can trust you, right? What was that? I didn't hear you. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Welcome to Ashford Academy. The flurries of cherry petals have come a few more times since then. And he eventually grew taller than me. Even so, that annoying, pompous attitude, and the precious kindness he shows his little sister. They haven't changed a bit. Which is why... That's right. I didn't overlook it. I didn't miss the slight blush on your cheeks when you thanked me. But if I had asked you why, you would have answered. It was the glow from the warm spring sun. That was shining that day. <laughs>